Welcome the future with the Asus Elite Book laptops. So this is the Asus Elite Book B9 OLED. It's engineered with a premium magnesium lithium alloy that is a masterpiece that redefines lightweight durability. It's boasting a brilliant OLED display, AI powered cameras, noise cancellation, as well as the latest Intel Core V Pro processor that sets the bar for modern work experience with an environmentally friendly design and enterprise grade security features that the expert book comprises of for executives, business travelers, and it will elevate their professionalism to new heights. So this is the first time that we're looking at a laptop like this from ASUS. And this is a laptop geared towards business, uh, business level individuals and executives because it's built with them in mind as well as it still comprises of all of the awesome features that we know and love like the OLED display the lightweight design I mean look at this it's small compact but it packs a punch for your expert business traveler so if it packs a punch what are some of the important things that it delivers Firstly, it has smart cooling fans and a versatile performance uh, selection of modes from whispering quiet or whispering for silence, a standard mode for balanced performance, as well as a performance mode for your demanding day-to-day -day tasks. It also enhances, enhances the professionalism of conferencing with the expert book because it has two-way AI noise cancellation technology, as well as it offers expert superior video quality with, uh, for virtual meetings with its AI powered camera that has the ability to track or, or motion track technology that can basically keep your face centered in the image and focuses on your eyes to keep the image at excellent quality and automatically uh, improves the brightness. Then when it comes to the vPro CPU, it supports Intel's vPro platform, which offers hardware-based security features like Intel's trusted uh, execution active management, as well as the virtualization uh, technology built into these devices. Um, so it basically ensures secure, reliable and remote management capabilities for the device, as well as it safeguards sensitive data in enterprise environment. Something interesting with this device is, is the fact that it is NFC compatible and it has ASUS's adaptive lock which detects your presence using the integrated infrared camera to recognize your face and log you in without you having to do anything and the moment that you step away from the device it automatically locks and protects your laptop and your data. The laptop also comes with the TMP 2.06 chip which securely uh, stores authentication data for software um, and basically it safeguards all important data and transactions and encryption keep your, your, your information protected. The device is also built with ASUS's business management uh, solutions which helps streamline routine tasks and basically allows your IT staff to remotely control and manage um, the company's assets. When you purchase this device, what do you get? Firstly, you can see there is a sleeve that comes with the device for easy storage and, manage, uh, and uh, traveling with the device. Then there is a box that comes with the device. And within this box, you can see the first thing we have is a USB to Ethernet port adapter. And then underneath that, we have our included charging ports. Something interesting about this is that this box can be converted. The box for the charger can be converted into a stand for the laptop, making it easier for use. Then after that, we come to the laptop itself. And the laptop itself is enclosed in this awesome 
Asus Expert Book box. And when we open up that, within it, we have our laptop. So now when it comes down to the design of this device, right, in terms of dimensions, this is 31 by 21 by 1.57 centimeters. The device has the military grade 810H, uh, military grade standard. And like how I mentioned, this is an ultra lightweight magnesium lithium um, alloy that creates the case of the device. And it makes this absolutely light, as light as 990 grams. This all, the case also employs an ecologically conscious manufacturing technology um, that reduces the production materials by up to 29% and shortens the manufacturing time of the cases of this device. Looking at the device itself, the hinge is a low based hinge, which is something different. We still get the full extension of the back screen so that you can lay this uh, on its back. And as you would notice that the high or the lower that you place the screen, the um, higher the chassis lifts up, providing more air under the device. Um, the screen itself is a full, it's almost like a 90% screen to body ratio because that's how full the screen is, right? The center of the device, I mean, 900 grams, it's like literally nothing. Um, here we have our keyboard and the keyboard is very much centralized. You notice that there's no power button up here. The power button has been placed on the side of the device. So the keyboard is very much centralized on the device. And then our trackpad or our touchpad is not 100% centralized, it's slightly to the right because most people using this is uh, righties. And then you have the addition of the numpad in the uh, touchpad. So you can press the button and then the touchpad, uh, the numpad appears. But other than that, um, there's nothing much else to say about this device. I mean, it's absolutely so lightweight that it's like, nothing um, in terms of ventilation there is tiny vents on the side curvature of the body um, that are basically air intakes and then the air outlet is underneath the device in the center so that's how it manages and regulates cooling as such Now, let's talk about the specifications when it comes to this device. So firstly, starting with the processor. This is the Intel vPro Essentials with the i7-1355U processor that can be clocked at up to 1.7 gigahertz uh, with its 10 cores and can be overclocked at up to 5 gigahertz. In terms of RAM, there's two variations, either a 16 gig or a 32 gig, which is an LPDDR5 uh, memory. And these are soldered directly to the board. So that is the max capacity depending on the device that you purchase. In terms of graphics, these devices are running Intel Iris X graphics, and it's available with the core i5, i7, and i9 that have dual channel memory. In terms of storage, this is running a one terabyte M.2 2280 NVMe that is PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. There are some expansion slots that are available and it's one additional M.2 2280 PCIe 4.0 port. In terms of the screen, because this device is so small, this is a 14 inch OLED screen that has a resolution of 2880 by 1800. It has a 16 to 10 ratio. And this device delivers a brightness of up to 400 nits. The device, like most of the ASUS devices, is Palatone validated. And this small compact device is powered by a 63 watt hour 
lithium ion 3 cell battery and it has a longer life rechargeable lithium polymer battery which helps this device last longer. It's charged by the type C port and it comes included like how we mentioned with a 65 watt type C charger. In terms of its IOs, it has one USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A port. It has two Thunderbolt 4 um, USB 4 ports that, that supports power delivery as well as display. It has one micro HDMI port and the micro HDMI port is for the connection of the RJ45 uh, port extender as such. It has an HDMI 2.1 port as well as a 3.5mm combo audio jack. In terms of connectivity, this is running Wi-Fi 6E in the dual bandwidth in a 2x2 configuration and it also runs Bluetooth 5.3. The keyboard, as usual, it's the backlit chiclet keyboard with 1.5mm travel keys, spool resistant as well as, like how I've mentioned, the support for the number pad built into the touchpad. So because this is a enterprise device or an executive device, there are some additional security features that are built in. Firstly, hard disk drive user password protection and security. It has CompuTrace or it is CompuTrace ready from the BIOS. It has TMP trusted uh, or a trusted platform module 2.0. It has the ability to set up a BIOS user password and it has a fingerprint sensor available for you if you like to utilize that to unlock your um, device. So I've mentioned it a good few times that this device is for corporates, is for executives, it's for business travelers because of its lightweightness as well as the amount of power that's packed into this. And I mean, it's small, compact and so easy to use. And I mean, if you consider the amount of power that's built into this and the ease of use that comes with it, there's no two ways or second guesses about this. So this device retails for 39,999 rands on the ASUS store and it is available in a color referred to as star black. This device has been awesome to review and it was actually quite interesting to see a device from a different segment of the market because we've looked at the Vivo books, we've looked at the We've looked at most of the devices that fit into their range and whether it's a budget device, whether it's a high performance device, this is one of the first devices that we ever had a look at that doesn't even fit into any of those. This is like in its own level. And if you compare this to something like a Vivo book or, a, or, or anything like that, then it, it, it is very close, let's not lie about it, but it is very, very different, slim, compact at the same time. I mean, even the fact that the power button is on the side stumped me a little bit, like, why would you do that if you are aiming to be thinner? But, I mean, at 900 grams, there's no two ways or second guesses about it. This is such an awesome device with its approach to being easy to use, but still giving you all of those expert level features. I think I'm rambling on a little bit here. So a big shout out to ASUS South Africa for sending out this device for us to have a look at and for us to show it to you guys as well. Um, the views and opinions expressed in this video are that of mine or me, Prashan and Texine ZA and have not been influenced in any way, shape or form. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. And if you do have any questions about the device, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Sean, and I will catch you in the next video.